guys, it's China, and today we are going to be doing a DIY project. We're going to be making heating pads and cold packs. I will have a list of all of the stuff that I use down in the description bar, so definitely check that out. So what you'll need to start with is rice. You will see me using flaxseed in this clip, but the flaxseed smells so weird to me and it does not go well with any herbs or spices or essential oils and I couldn't get that weird smell out. So I don't suggest getting that. I suggest using rice and taking your favorite tea scents or um, using spices and herbs and things like that and essential oils and letting that sit and marinate in the container for about an hour. You can do it for up to a day. Of course, the longer you leave it, the better it'll smell. Um, and that's going to be the filling for the pack. For for the particular shape that I'm showing you today, it's going to be the one that goes around your neck and over your shoulder. You'll want to make a zigzag stitch around the opening and you can do this in any shape or size that you want. This is an awesome project for a gift, especially if you know people that have issue, back issues or if you have kids, these are great cold packs if they hurt themselves or if you're an athlete and need to ice up or put the heat on. It works both ways. It's awesome. You're going to make that zigzag stitch and that's just going to reinforce the fabric. You'll want to use 100% cotton or flannel just because you're putting it in the microwave and you don't want it to burn up. No glitter, no sparkly stuff, no metallic stuff. And so once you get it stitched up, you're going to flip it inside out. Grab a ruler and make two inch intervals. Basically, you're just going to make line stitches and that's going to allow the rice to distribute evenly so that once you actually pick it up, the rice doesn't just fall one way or the other. Those stitches will help to keep it in place. And you'll see here, I did not go all the way to the end and that was because when you're putting the rice in, it makes it a lot easier for the rice to get down the side. I've seen it where when people were making this, they would put rice in and sew, put more rice in and sew. It makes it so much easier and the rice actually stays distributed. So I didn't have a funnel, so I used a piece of paper and rolled that up. And I, I'm using one fourth cup to scoop the rice filling into the pack. Once you get it in there, just give it a good shake and the rice will just fall down to the bottom. Just a side note, you don't want to fill the pack so much that you can't roll it up. That's just for the simple fact of when you put it in the microwave, the more rice there is in there, the longer you will have to leave it in the microwave. You'll generally microwave these for about three to five minutes. Of course, for the smaller packs, like the ones for the, your hands or if they're for kids, or smaller packs need smaller time. Start at 15 seconds and then work your way up from there. So this is the final result. I made a whole gift pack and I'll go through each one. These are the hand warmers. They literally fit in the palm of your hand. Um, this particular one is for your back. It goes from your shoulders to your lower back. These are for sinus pressures, headaches, cramps. This one is for, will wrap around your elbow or your knee, or you can fold it up and put it in, you know, like the small of your back and lean on it. So this is what the whole gift set looks like rolled up. You can put it in a cute little decorative box and give it away for Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channel I have with Brandon. We just uploaded a new video for our 12 Dates of Christmas and it is pure comedy. Alright guys, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!